Good morning. I want to welcome everybody, and it's the start of 2024. We hope it'll be a great year. We'll start with our uh, public statement read by Commissioner Jones. We, the Monroe County Board of Commissioners, renew our commitment to welcome and protect the rights of all people, regardless of age, race, color, creed, disability, sexual orientation, gender, gender identity, marital status, economic status, and national origin. And we affirm the right of every person to live peacefully and without fear, and we will fight and resist at every step discrimination and harmful policies, whatever their source. We also stand in support of our county public school systems, both RBB and MCCSC. Thank you. And at this time, I would like to move that we nominate Commissioner Thomas as president and Commissioner Givens as vice president. Well, thank you. I will thank second you. that. Thank you. And do I call for a vote? Do we vote? You call for a vote. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll call for a vote on uh, having <laughs> Commissioner Thomas be the President of the Board of Commissioners for 2024 and myself as Vice President. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion passes three to zero. I am passing the gavel. Wow, well, thank you so much. And again, thank you for your great leadership in the past year, as always, and um, a steady hand, but also dynamic. So I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So with that, we're going to go to our department updates. We have, there she is. Good morning, Ms. Kelly. She's frozen, her video's frozen. There she is. We cannot hear you, so if you could wait one moment. Um, TSD? You're definitely unmuted, so you're doing everything right, Ms. Kelly. It's um, something here with our speakers, I would assume. Well, none of the other monitors are turned on either. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Right. Try now. Right. Would you like to try again, Ms. Kelly? Yes. Uh, so, in, influenza activity is now noted as high in Indiana. The CDC does recommend that all individuals aged six months and older, except in rare circumstances, receive an annual flu shot. We do still have these available through our public health clinic at 333 Miller Drive. Um, the department now has radon testing kit applications available on our website. Um, so the public can go to retrieve these forms by um, locating environmental health, healthy homes, and radon. Uh, this program does address our core service requirement to prevent and reduce cancer. This is a free service. We will place the devices and then the, um, we will receive the results and contact the homeowners. All right, thank you so much. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much. Um, do we have comments or questions? Commissioner Jones? No, I don't. Commissioner Gibbons? I like this uh, idea of the radon testing kits. Um, this is wonderful. How many, how many are available? Any idea? You're muted. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess we're still trying to figure out teams here, aren't we? Um, yes, Microsoft Teams. OK. All right. Um, Thank you so much, Ms. Kelly. And um, she didn't even hear me say thank you, but thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right. Uh, so, <laughs> all right. So, is there any other department that has an update for us? Trying to 
trying to make sure I can see if there are hands raised in teams and there are not. So with that, we will move on to public comment. Uh, public comment is uh, designated time for residents to um, bring comments for items not on the agenda. Uh, we ask that you provide your name and your county of residence. You will have three minutes to speak. I don't see a hand raised on Teams. Okay, it looks like we don't have any public comment in the new year yet. I'm sure that will change over time. Um, we will move on to the next item, please. I move approval of the minutes from December 20th, 2023. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any comments, corrections, edits? No. No. All right. All those in favor of approving the minutes for December 20th, 2023, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries 3-0. Next item, please. We have approval of the claims docket, accounts payable, January 3rd, 2024, and payroll, December 28th, 2023. Second. We have a motion and a second. Ms. Miller, good morning. Good morning. The accounts payable claims docket for January 3rd, 2024 totals $94,482,568.73. This includes all emergency claims and adjustments. The payroll docket for December 28, 2023 includes $1,354,958.14 in direct costs and the remaining $573,131.44 were for indirect costs for a grand total of $1,928,089.58. Thank you so much. Comments or questions? Commissioner Jones? No, I don't. Commissioner Giffins? Well, it was a shock to see the bottom line yeah. on the claims this, <laughs> yeah. this week, but it was because we're, after the November collection of property taxes, money was paid out to all mm -hmm. kinds of entities around the county. Yeah, yeah. It's, it was made my eyes water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there any public comment on this item? Okay, seeing none, all those in favor of moving uh, the claims docket accounts payable January 3rd, 2024 and payroll December 28th, 2023, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries three to zero. I will note for the record, we've received reports from the clerk of the circuit court for November, 2023 and weights and measures sent us a report November 16th to December 15th, 2023. And with that, we move on to new business, please. We have approval of the Wood Innovative Group LLC contract, fund name, election fund, fund number 1215 in an amount of $375. Second. We have a motion and a second, and we have Clerk Brown joining us. Good morning. Good morning. And Happy New Year to everyone. Um, I am here for um, requesting your signature on the MOU for the Wood Integrative Group. That is the um, business, the small business that edits the commercials that are used during early voting. And so it is for the amount of $375. And um, that is my request. Okay. Thank you. Comments, questions? Commissioner Jones? No, I don't. Commissioner Giffins? No. Okay. So there's a lot of information in the packet about um, the MOU taking place of a, a typical contract, right? So that's, but that's all clear. This had never happened before. I was, there was, this, that commercial has run since even my predecessor was clerk. We were never asked for an MOU. I never knew that that even was something that was done, especially for a bill as small as three hundred and seventy-five dollars. <laughs> um, I'd be honored if I could be if I could have a template of the MOU so that going forward, it can be addressed in advance and get your yeah. signature for that. I, I think they prefer a contract versus the MOU. I think the MOU is being done as a way to um, overcome the lack of a contract. Um, so, Mr. Cockrell maybe could help with that. 
Well, I, I think all service agreements have to be approved by the county commissioner, and they, this person is providing a service to us. Calling an MOU versus a contract, they're essentially both contracts. It's just how we titled it. I think typically we would prefer a contract that outlines a lot of, we have a lot of boilerplate language, and we certainly can provide a, a, the boilerplate contract to, to the clerk's office, but it includes insurance and other requirements that we typically would see. Now, I'm not here to say that, you know, we, wor we work with our vendors, and if it doesn't make sense for some of those to apply, we'll work with them and, and figure out what makes sense and what doesn't. But we're more than happy to provide that. I'd be very grateful for that. This is a small businessman mm -hmm. up in Morgan County who is just, you know, one of those, we still have some really great small businesses mm -hmm. out there, and he just wants to be paid for the work. He, there's no must, no fuss. Um, so if there's a template, I'd be happy to follow it going forward. Okay. If you wouldn't mind to send that to me, I'd be very grateful. I would be more than happy right. to. Thank you. Ms. Purdy? Yeah, I just want to point out that, um, just to kind of reiterate so that everybody is understanding that any service, service contract, any service agreement requires a contract, regardless of the amount. And I think that may have been what caught you, you know, off guard was you thought it was a, a smaller amount and therefore didn't meet the criteria. But it's a service that's provided and all services that we seek outside of Monroe County government has to have a contract of some sort. And I believe that um, Ms. Turner King had provided um, the, the contract um, for this particular project, and this particular entity did not want to sign it with those additional items um, included, and so that's why we have this somewhat um, um, non-conforming agreement before us today, and um, in the future, just because it wasn't done in the past doesn't make it right. So in the future, we have to ensure that the contract meets all of our criteria. Just wanted to put that out there. That's yeah. No, just wanted to make sure everybody understands that that the, their expectations and that go across all departments in, in the county. So just uh, not saying anything against you particularly. Just saying for all county government, that's that's the expectation. Sounds like we're all on, all on the same page and you'll have the additional information for next time. So um, it sounds like we're all in good place. Um, let's see if there's any public comment on this item. Come to the podium in the Nat Hill room or raise your hand on Teams. Okay. Seeing none, we'll come back for a vote. All those in favor of approving the Wood Innovative Group LLC contract Signified by saying aye. 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 Motion carries three to zero. Thank you. Next item, please. Move approval of the ratification of the 2023-2024 Juvenile Detention Alternatives Initiative Grant Amendment for Performance Bonus, fund name JDAI Performance Grant, fund number 9146 in an amount of $62,042. Second. We have a motion and a second, and we had Ms. McAfee online a moment ago, so hopefully she is still here. I am here. Great. You don't see me? There we go. Whoa. <laughs> and triplet. <laughs> and we're out in nature, too. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, good morning, and happy New Year, Commissioners. Um, I am here today to proudly say that for the third year in a row, Monroe County has been awarded bonus grant JDAI dollars. And what that means is that our community has done such good work with our JDAI initiative. When the Department of Correction has some excess funding, they offer it to counties that are doing good work. And we were offered some additional funding. So uh, we got about $62,000. And with that, we are supporting some existing initiatives, expanding a couple and creating a couple of new opportunities. Um, one of the most exciting things that we're doing is we are partnering again with Monroe County Community School District to offer TBRI or trust-based relational intervention um, training to a middle school and adding an elementary school. So we are super excited. Lakeview Elementary was the first school 
that we were able to support with some funds last year and this year with the bonus grants we offered MCC the opportunity and they were really excited so um, that's a, a large portion of the money and then we're also supporting YSB's truancy termination program they are when um, families face barriers to success things as simple as transportation alarm clocks adequate clothing um, you know some of the things that we might take for granted that really impede people's ability to be successful and as well as providing incentives and recognition items when families are able to overcome those issues and barriers and kids get back in, on the right track with um, attending school we're also supporting the warehouse which is a an amazing community resource um, we noticed a gap a few years ago that was brought to us by David Wild, who's the executive director. And according to their pol insurance policy, kids 12 and under have to have adult supervision or they can't come in. And for a whole host of reasons, parents weren't, uh, or adult caregivers weren't always able to bring those kids. Um, and so we provide funding that they're able to hire some young people that act as those adult mentor supervisors. So those young kids are no longer being turned away. Um, it has been a phenomenally successful program, and um, we're excited that we're able to continue with it. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, comments, questions? Commissioner Jones? Yeah, well, I'd like to congratulate you for your repeated success with this. And I know the JDI program has been really an amazing thing, and, and it's wonderful to hear that you're being so successful with it. And, and I think also the fact that they're using evidence-based programming with kids. And I, it's, I think it's important too to remind everyone that the kinds of work you're doing, you're reaching down into the elementary schools to make sure that kids have success. Um, and sometimes we forget that. Yeah, so, so important and um, thank you uh, to your staff and all the amazing ways that you're getting the word out in the community and providing that support. It's, it's, it's hugely beneficial and it will pay off dividends in the long term. So we really appreciate it. Uh, let's see if there's any public comment on this item. Raise your hand on Teams or come to the podium in the Nat U Hill room. All right, seeing none, uh, call for a vote on the ratification of the 2023-2024 Juvenile Detention Alternatives Initiative Grant Amendment for Performance Bonus. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries three to zero. Uh, next item, please. Thank you so much. And before I get off, I do want to send a shout out to the community as well. I have the absolute honor of kind of organizing and facilitating much of this, but we would not be where we are without our community and the support. Right. Also, obviously, commissioners, council, and probation, the judicial support. Um, it truly is a village to make this work, so thank you all. Excellent, thank you so much. Great. All right, next item, please. Move approval of Bledsoe, Rigert, Cooper, and James on call agreement, fund names, county general, park non-reverting capital, and park non-reverting operating. Fund numbers 1,000, 1,178, and 1179 in an amount not to exceed $6,000. Second. We have a motion and a second, and we have Ms. Whitmer joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so I'm on call agreement with Russell Rickard, Missouri James, and I'm looking at the county calendar for my case approval. Second. Second. Oh, okay. Do you want me to repeat that? Sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is Bledsoe Rickert Cooper James on call for $6,000, not to exceed $6,000 by April 1st of 2025 to help us with unusual questions or things that we need a quick answer to. Makes sense. Comments, questions? Commissioner Jones? No, I don't. Commissioner Giffins? Uh, I know you've had a long-term relationship with this, this group and I think they from my observations, they respond very quickly. Yes, they do, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's any public comment on this item. Uh, raise your hand on Teams or come to the podium in the Nat U Hill room. And seeing none, all those in favor 
of approving the Bledsoe Rieger Cooper James on call agreement signify by saying aye. 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 Motion mm. carries three to zero. Next item, please. Move approval of Cassidy Electrical Contractors Inc. on call agreement. Fund names, County General, Park Non Reverting Capital, and Park Non Reverting Operating. Fund numbers 1000. 1178 and 1179 in an amount not to exceed $25,000. Second. We have a motion and a second, Ms. Whitmer. Yes, this is an on call with Cassidy Electrical Contractors, not to exceed $25,000 by December 31st of 2025. Um, we have small electrical issues in the parks, of course, and then if our lighting system at Cars Farm um, Park Athletic Complex goes down, they are the people that we need to call. Comments, questions, Commissioner Jones? No, I don't. Commissioner Giffins? No, and that, this is a, again, somebody that you've had a long-term relationship yeah. with and they're yeah. very responsive to things. Very responsive. Yeah, and I appreciate as well, I've been you know, noticing the, the due dates for the end of these on-call agreements and it makes a lot of sense that these are all sort of spaced out and they don't all fall on January 1st. Um, so thank you for doing that, but that helps out. Yes, we have a variety and we try to, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As long as you can keep track. <laughs> I have a spreadsheet. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, let's see if there's any public comment on this item. Uh, come to the podium in the Nat U Hill room or raise your hand on Teams. Okay, seeing none, we'll come back for a vote. All those in favor of approving the Cassidy Electrical Contractors Inc. on call agreement signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries 3 0. And stay right where you are for the next item, please. <laughs> Move approval of Commercial Service of Bloomington, Inc. on call agreement. Fund names, County General, Park Non Reverting Capital, and Park Non Reverting Operating. Fund numbers 1,000, 1178, and 1179 in an amount not to exceed $15,000. Second. We have a motion and a second. Ms. Whitmer. Um, yes, this is for on call for HVAC or plumbing problems for the parks. Um, April 1st, 2025, it expires, not to exceed $15,000. Thank you so much. Let's see if there's any public comment on this item. Raise your hand on Teams or come up to the podium in the Nat Hill room. Seeing none, we'll come back for a vote. All those in favor of approving the Commercial Service of Bloomington, Inc. on call agreement signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries three to zero. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Do you want me to turn the green button off? Uh, yes, might as well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, next item, please. Move approval of resolution 2024-01, Monroe County Code Update. Second. We have a motion and a second. Mr. Cockrell, will you please fill us in? Yes, we've done this twice a year for as long as I can remember. Um, basically, this is every code change that you've made over the past six months or so, we put into this document so we can update the main code that we distribute throughout the community, including our website. And so this is just, this isn't approving anything. This is just other than putting things that have already been approved into our code for um, distribution. Right, thank you so much. Uh, comments, questions, Commissioner Jones? Yes, um, we've done this for years, so I'm not unfamiliar um, with it, but I am a little curious. The Everything that we're passing now went into effect at the time that it was? Correct. Okay. Yeah, it goes into the fact, this is merely to update how we, how people can research it and how it's communicated. Okay. Thank you. Commissioner Gibbons. No, it's straightforward. Yeah, great. Thank you so much. Let's see if there's any public comment on this item. Raise your hand on Teams or come to the podium in Nat U Hill. Okay, seeing none, all those in favor of approving resolution 2024-01 signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries 3-0. Thank you so much. And our next item, please. Move approval of NDOT change order number five with NDOT for Hunters Creek Road project phases two and three. Fund name, Hunters Creek Road phase two and three. Fund number 8163 in an amount of zero dollars. Second. We have a motion and a second and we have Ms. Ridge joining us. 
Good morning. Uh, still working out the finals to get this project closed out. Um, this is just to add on additional days when they had to come back in the spring of 23 um, and replace a section of pavement that had failed. So it's adding on the um, dates to the original contract um, to keep everything in line for the actual completion date. All right. Thank you so much. Comments, questions? Commissioner Jones? No, I don't. Commissioner Gissens? No. It is um, very clear <laughs> what's going on. Uh, but yeah, it's always those closeouts, getting everything just finalized. So appreciate you. I should have uh, one more coming to you for this project. And oh. this is the last thing. <laughs> I was just going to ask, is this the last one? No, no. this will be one more. Okay. Well, I appreciate your attention to detail. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's any public comment on this item. Raise your hand on Teams or come to the podium in Natty Hill. Seeing none, I'll uh, come back for a vote. All those in favor of INDOT change order number five, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries three to zero. All right. I'd like to say that it's really important that Ms. Ridge sticks around for like a hundred years because she, <laughs> she moved to the history of all these things. Well, she's only 20 now, so that's so her. <laughs> Got it. Um, and we do have um, some appointments. Yes, I uh, move approval of appointing John Weichart and Joyce Poling to the Monroe Convention Center Capital Improvement Board for a two-year term beginning January 15th, 2024. Second. We have a motion and a second. Um, any comments? Anybody like to move? I just want to thank them for their service. Yeah. Um, they, they're moving quickly, and it's yeah. been really good to see. Yeah, I, I, I second that. That, that is, uh, it's so important. They've hit the ground running, and, and they've provided great um, stewardship, so I appreciate their hard work and look forward to their future work. And they have another meeting coming up soon. So, excellent. Uh, with that, all those in favor of approving the appointments to the Capital Improvement Board signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries three to zero. Uh, and with that, um, I will offer some quick announcements. Just a reminder, we may have some adverse weather uh, this weekend, uh, which may impact road conditions. So it's a great time to sign up for the resident alert. Uh, just go to co.monroe.in.us uh, to sign up. There is uh, COVID-19 testing available at the health department and uh, test kits at the, um, at the health department and at the public health clinic. Um, the health department's on the corner um, of 7th Street and uh, College and uh, the public health clinic is at 333 East Miller Drive. Uh, there are some blood drives coming up, including today, uh, 1 to 6, and uh, tomorrow, January 4th, 10 a.m. to 3. That's at Ivy Tech, Shreve Hall. You can um, go to redcross.org for more information and make an appointment. We appreciate everybody's uh, thoughtful gift of life. Um, and we um, have um, virtual office hours each month, there are six uh, opportunities. Just go to co.monroe.in.us, um, look at the calendar, and uh, join one of us for a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Share your ideas, give us your feedback. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, we do have um, uh, funds available through uh, township offices for rural housing repair. So this is for homeowners outside the city of Bloomington who have some major basic repairs that they need done on their homes that they cannot afford to complete. Um, and this is for um, um, resident occupied or owner occupied residences, I should say. And uh, things like roof, HVAC, uh, basic carpentry, um, these are the kinds of things the program's intended for. This is with ARPA funding uh, program that we created. And um, you go to your township trustee's office to check on um, whether you are eligible to receive the funding and they will help you process the first part of 
the paperwork uh, to get assistance. Um, the uh, only exception is uh, Perry Township. And so if you live in Perry Township in the, outside the city of Bloomington and you need, um, you want assistance with this service, we ask you to contact um, us at the Monroe County Board of Commissioners, um, Commissioner's Office at co.monroe.in.us, and we will help you with that process. We'll, we'll do the paperwork, so. Um, anything else that I am missing today? No, but I like these new microphones. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> and TSD has navigated us through our transition from Zoom to Teams. So thank you uh, for that help. Uh, we appreciate it and I um, appreciate everyone's patience. We had a few glitches, but that's okay. We'll get there. Um, and uh, we do not have a work session. So our next meeting is January 10th, uh, Wednesday, January 10th, 10 a.m. right here uh, in the Nat U Hill Room. Uh, thank you everyone. We are adjourned. <laughs>